One of the most common ways to carry is outside the waistband. Typical situations that you would carry outside the waistband would be at the range mm -hmm. or in an open carry state. And we have a lot of options here in front of us mm -hmm. for great on the waistband carry. One of the reasons I love outside the waistband carry is because it is so comfortable, especially if I'm outdoors horseback riding or mm -hmm. hunting. Um, for example, this Ruger 5.7 is one of my favorite pistols to carry outdoors for defensive situations that maybe, maybe a mountain lion or a bear mm -hmm. or something. Um, this seems like a really big pistol and you're looking at it and you're like, oh my gosh, that is going to be really uncomfortable to carry on your body. It is based off a 1911 frame, but carrying it outside of the waistband with this Kydex holster it is so comfortable you don't even know it's there and one of the other things i like about this holster is it has a safety mechanism here so that you can lock the pistol in place so it's great retention characteristics and it's really easy to grab and draw when you need it but you feel really secure having it on your body with that in place one thing about this outside the waistband holster is the curvature of this plastic fits really nicely against your body. Mm -hmm. It's really comfortable to walk and wear um, and you don't have to have a belt on so yeah. you can wear it with anything. It's so comfortable especially like I said with a large frame pistol like this Ruger 5.7. You said comfort and I think for all of us we all hunt and comfort is key yeah. while we're hiking back country and I, I'm really looking forward to trying that one out. You can also get custom outside the waistband holsters such as this one. This has the paddle as well. And um, you can tighten the screws here to make it tighter if you'd like that fit. It has the Kydex, so you have nice retention. And again, wearing at the range or another option too is if you are going to conceal carry, you can carry it on your hip at three o'clock um, and have something over it. Maybe mm -hmm. it's a light jacket yeah. or um, however you're trying to dress for that day and that occasion. It's very comfortable to wear it. Like even like I was doing really crazy things like climbing up a tree stand right. and I have a harness on and all of this equipment and you know, you have to lift your leg up really high. And even with this pistol as large as it is, this Kydex holster makes it feel very secure and easy mm -hmm. to maneuver and move around. You don't even know it's there. And it, easy like, to access because yeah. you are wearing it most likely in the three o'clock position right. and there's not going to be anything in the way if you did have a self-defense mm -hmm. situation yeah. with a bear mountain lion yeah. any of those exactly things. that's cool one of my favorites is this universal leather holster it's very lightweight and easy to clip in yeah you can actually use that with the clip or with a belt as well. Mm -hmm. I like leather too because it's soft against yeah. your body and it's just something that it, it really forms to fit your firearm. Mm -hmm. So it's one of my favorite options. Yeah. A lot of people want additional security of having a retention strap mm -hmm. and this Allen um, holster is really nice. It does have only a belt loop on it. So if you are wearing a belt on a, on a pair of pants, it's a really nice outside the waistband carry. But it has this retention strap on here that is a quick swipe to unlock. And if like you're that. one of those people that want to feel a little more secure mm -hmm. with your firearm and you like having that retention strap, it's a really nice option mm -hmm. just to give you that added bit of confidence with your firearm. And I like that it's adjustable too. Mm -hmm. So if you do have a smaller mm -hmm. firearm um, or that's shorter framed, mm -hmm. then you can tighten it up. And another nice thing about this one is it is accommodating or will accommodate several barrel lengths. So yeah. you're not stuck with you know your traditional Kydex holster. You have to order yeah. specifically for your firearm versus you know this one or that right. holster they're more universal and fit and it'll accommodate a lot more firearms which is nice because it's like more like a bio ones kind of thing yeah. Right. yeah it's not always a tried and true perfect fit for everything so you really need to do a little bit of research but mm -hmm. it is nice yeah. i think what's important for anyone who's out there shooting is that they try multiple holsters whether you go to a gun shop they'll open them up for you let you try different firearms mm -hmm. in them and get something that's comfortable and that works for you mm -hmm. and everything that you need as a shooter mm -hmm. like we've said before you can never have too many holsters right never too many holsters <laughs> and you can't have too much training right so getting out and practicing the limitations with these um, for example like this one i found that if i have like my um, harness for my tree stand on it was difficult to depress 
press the release mm -hmm. to actually pull the pistol out of the holster. And so you want to really make sure that whatever you select for your holster for your firearm is going to be intuitive to the mm -hmm. situation which you're carrying it. Mm -hmm. And some ranges actually won't allow you to have that release. Um, so you do need to know wherever you're shooting mm -hmm. what their rules are. I know we can't say this enough. Getting together with a group of like-minded women, people at the range, going to a gun club, mm -hmm. finding a certified instructor, and practicing. Practice is everything. Mm -hmm. Every holster is different. Knowing how to draw from that holster mm -hmm. in a self-defense situation is key.